Andrew McGahan here in Las Vegas, Nevada, poolside again, standing alongside George Lockhart here. We are four days out from the fight now. This is probably the next four days that become your most stressful out of the last six weeks. Would that be correct? Uh, yeah, this is this is where uh, I'm the most important, I think. That's where the money's earned. Yeah, that's where the money is earned, absolutely. absolutely. Um, is there any sort of thing that has to change? Is there, like massive foods that were there maybe four or five weeks ago that are now an absolute no-go uh, at this time of the week or what is your like not without giving away your business no, uh, no. your business plan no no man um you know actual food like quantity it stays about the same uh we have to just change macros and you know obviously pull back on the sodium around this time um he's still drinking tons of water and you know because he did hire us so far out it's basically smooth sailing his body's prepped and then now uh, this, this last couple of days when all the, the weight actually comes off as someone that works with probably you and your company probably work with more UFC fighters than anyone, when Connor spoke the other day about the potential of a 165 pound division, from working with fighters, is that something that you're getting the sense of that they are thriving and calling out and looking for more weight classes? Yeah, I think that a lot of fighters are. You know, we got a lot of guys like, uh, you know, one example I always use is Drew Dober. You know, he's uh, he's a huge 155er. He, uh, you know, there's one time he cut from 185 to 155 in three days. You know, um, the guy's phenomenal. He's a big mountain of muscle. But the thing is, the reach to go up to 170, I, you know, might not be there, whereas he is for 155. 165 would be perfect for him. You know, he wouldn't have to drop all that weight and then, uh, you know, again, wouldn't have to deal with people that were super, super long. But even from the health perspective, can you give any sort of insight to why athletes should be fighting as close to their natural weight as possible so their hydration levels are as uh, perfect? The, the brain is the first area where the water will move away from. It is the last area generally where it will rehydrate too. Like, surely this is safer for the fighters in the long run. Right. Not necessarily true. Like, you know, all receptors in your head that kind of dictate where the water, how it comes in and out, and it, our body's protected. It. But, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, you don't want to have massive weight cuts, you know. And uh, a lot of these guys don't hire professionals or people that have done this before and know what they're doing. So they aren't properly hydrated when they get into that cage, you know. If you're walking around close to the same weight class, you know, you're not, you have to worry about that as much. Unfortunately, you know, in this sport, it's going to happen. The same thing with wrestling. You you have same day weigh-ins. You have people weighing in right before the match, and they're gonna they're uh, they're gonna do that. So you know, I think people looking for for more weight classes that might minimize some of these uh, these drastic weight cuts. It's a possibility. And um, when I spoke to you a year ago in Dublin, I can't, you told me at the time, but you had said like how many people that were under you. But it seems like your team has expanded massively within the last twelve months in terms of like other people working with fighters. Uh, like you took a chance really with all of this you were just known as a guru for a while <laughs> you worked with a couple of fighters it wasn't huge did you ever envision that it would get to where it is now for your company uh no honestly i mean uh, i was in the marine corps and i was a fighter and now i'm a food dude and uh never in a million years but it, it's awesome i've got a great group of guys i actually have our head chef out here cooking for connor uh, i think connor has forgotten all about me you know, eating his food he's like george who uh, but it's awesome you know getting people that are uh, specialized in one area and uh, you know making sure that the the athletes not only are, are safe they're healthy but uh, you know we make the weight cut as enjoyable as possible and then finally, for any fighters that have maybe touched down in Vegas this week, are there extra people here for, for on, on call for a fighter that's going to be ringing on Wednesday night saying, is that a, can I ask actually, is that a rare thing that you no. get like reached out to by fighters fight week saying like, it's actually gone south, we need your help, short notice, and is that something you do? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've had guys call day of weigh-ins. Uh, we actually have uh, we have uh, Felice Heron, we have Aspen Ladd, um, Anthony Pettis, Sergio Pettis on this card. So we have a whole other team of guys working with them on this on this card as well. Obviously, I'm with Connor, me and Eric Trilegi are with them. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So each one, each person has their own individual group, making sure that everything is uh, is good to go. Perfect, George Lockhart. Thank you very much. Enjoy the week.